Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, hello again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. And as you well know, this is our Thursday Founders Vlog. I be one of those founders, and Art be the other founder. Hello, co-founder. How are you? Okay, uh, let's get serious here for a moment. Because, you know, time, time is money, and money is short, and whatever else. Uh, I'm short. You're short. Uh, one thing that you, you've done that I haven't done, yes. uh, and I think uh, I'm going to this year, so I'm seeking your advice on this, is uh, uh, taking a close look at our uh, Medicare supplement plans. Because there's a per, uh, an open enrollment period different from uh, National Medicare, the Obamacare, and all those things that has a, a different right. enrollment period. But from yep. October 15th, which we're already just about in, to November, December 7th, uh, yep. you get a chance to change the plan without any penalties. But you can't do it for the rest of the year. Why do yep. you, what have you been doing and how has that worked out for you? I'll, okay, I'll, so I'll, ask you, I'll tell you why I'll ask you in a moment because there's something specific I'm looking at. Uh, so oh, okay, good. Good. So, yeah, we've done this every year. We um, There's a private company, and I'm under the impression, I don't know for technically for sure, but I'm under the impression that all those advertisements you see on television and radio for open enrollment are either sponsored by insurance companies that want you to you know, join their plan, or they're sponsored by companies that get uh, third-party companies, insurance companies, or um, benefits companies that serve uh, corporations and, and businesses that get paid a little bit of something. They get a fee from Medicare to help people analyze which is the best plan for them. Now, if I call, if I go to a uh, an insurance company, of course I'm going to get their pitch to get their insurance. But if I go to a third party company and let me hold up my, this is my uh, information plan. They send me every year. I, I'm just about to fill it out. Um, if I go to a third party company who is one of those uh, non-affiliated hmm. companies that literally analyze all the insurance plans out there offered offering Medicaid supplements, um, they compare the prices based on your medicines. So I've got, I don't know, a dozen medicines. I'll put those on the list, and I have to list them. It's a drug name, drug name, frequency, dosage. And they ask for the preferred pharmacy because, as you probably know, and I think a lot of us understand, if you get uh, a certain uh, Medicare supplement plan for Walgreens, you're going to get a different price based on the specific drugs mm -hmm. than if you go to CVS. Uh, don't ask me why. I'm assuming that the, the the big pharmacies like Walgreens and CVS and others have deals with the drug companies and that they can get certain drugs cheaper and they, the deals are not the same. So every year when we fill these list of medicines out, my wife and I send them to this third-party company. We don't pay anything. They get, I believe they get reimbursed by Medicare. And what they do is they tell us who's got the best plan, best plan, cheapest plan, for our drug list individually. And my wife is on one Medicare supplement plan. I'm on another. Hmm. Sometimes we end up on the same plan for the same year, but it's based on the drugs. Based on the, the and, and the prices of the drugs, you know, tier one, tier five, whatever it is. And I think I'm trying to think. I changed plans last year. I think I changed plans the year before. So sometimes you change. They they recommend a new drug plan because the drug co the the insurance companies change the prices. You mm -hmm. know, the drug that you take the most now goes to tier five, so it's double the price. Or they recommend a different drug plan because 
all of a sudden the doctor has me on a new drug, which costs a lot of money. Right. And I can get it cheaper with this plan than that plan. Look, it's all complicated. Medicare is not a simple thing. It's like Social Security. <laughs> they deliberately made it complicated so as not to spend too much of the government's money, which, of course, is our money. Um, but it is a good thing. It's a good deal. And it doesn't cost you anything. So I really highly recommend everybody go through the process of finding one of these third-party companies that will analyze your uh, medications and find you the best, cheapest um, drug, su uh, Medicare supplement plan that you can get for drugs. And um, it's made a difference. I, uh, we end up, for whatever the reason, we I've ended up changing uh, insurance companies every year for the last three years. Now, this is just for the, your your, your uh, prescriptions, not for your overall supplement. Correct. It, it it's called Medicare supplement plan. Right, but but okay. But so here's about the prescriptions. Here's here's what prompted me to do this, um, uh, to think about it, and uh, uh, I've had uh, I don't know what's blue, what's blue shield, whatever it is, for about a dozen years. I've actually had the same supplement. And it's a supplement F, and all the uh, on the Medicare plans where they pay for uh, doctor visits and things like that, hospitalization. Uh, well, some of that's done anyway. But uh, the supplement, uh, they one good thing they did was they made supplements like A, B, C, D, E, F. From right. company to company, they're identical. What's different about them is that uh, some respond more quickly. Uh, I've never had anything turned down. Uh, Obviously, I have doctors who know how to put in the billing correctly, but uh, whether yeah. it be for tests or anything else, and the version I have is no copay, but that's for the Medicare supplement. That's for doctor visits and things like that. Right. And I don't want to mess that up, but what what happens is, I guess in the last year or two, uh, those they let's say there was supplement F, maybe there's an F plus now, where they'll include pharmaceuticals, they'll include. Uh, some vision, some dental uh, yeah. kind of things in there. And that's sort of what prompted me to ask. So what I was going to do is I was going to go to uh, Medicare.gov or whatever that is, and they actually have all the plans listed out and they compare them, but not with the same expertise that an insurance agent would have. So I'm right. probably going to be interested in speaking to your agent. But uh, 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 what I was going to do is I was going to call Blue Cross and say, hey, I don't want to have to have a new card and worry about new uh, processes where I'm not sure that they're going to be as friendly with my doctor as it's been in the past. For instance, I know that United Medical or whoever, the terrible reputation for getting back, the one that AARP has. So for many years, they had a terrible reputation. And then they dropped the silver sneakers thing. Uh, uh, which uh, caused a lot of people, a lot of banks, and I didn't want to go through that. So, but I'm interested now, and uh, I'd appreciate. I, I know there's Joe Namath uh, uh, as a spokesperson on a lot of TV Joe stations. And Jimmy Walker. Right, and Jimmy Walker, <laughs> two perfect guys. They're just entertaining, uh, and I think you're right. What happens is that if that broker, uh, it doesn't change your price at all. But what happens is that Medicare pays a fee or the insurance companies pay a fee to have them as the broker of record, yep. uh, uh, which uh, is virtually yeah, true in any insurance. So it's built into the price. You don't get a discount if uh, you don't have a broker of record. You, you uh, don't. It doesn't affect you, the, right. the individual, one way or the other. All right. Um, what, whatever they get paid, it's probably not a lot of money because it's Medicare. But they get but thousands of. Bless them. Yeah. And they're, here's the most important thing, is because they're third-party brokers of some sort, mm -hmm. um, in fact, the, the company that we use, uh, have been using, really is a, um, an insurance broker for businesses. Mm -hmm. But they do this individually for, for me, and it doesn't cost anything. And they're, they're nonpartisan. They... they they're happy to look at, quite frankly, I think they get it all from Medicare. I think you could probably go on the Medicare website and do it. But they know how to read it. They know how to read it. But, but why bother? Why, why bother? 
there's all these companies out there that are doing this for free, free, free for us. And and they're accurate, they're fair. As near as I can tell, they have no dog in the fight. Um, that's why I say I would not waste my time going to the insurance companies, insurance company by insuring, you know, well care or um, whatever. The, I just I don't think it's worth the, the trouble for the consumer. I think you just go to one of these um, companies that will find you the best plan. And look, now there's there's uh, I noticed they're advertising. You can get more benefits. You can get right. uh, I, I just can't transportation and meals and dental and eyesight and all that. Well, well of course you're going to pay for that. That's I'm, forgive me because I don't know the technical, but it's Medicare Part Z or Medicare Part <laughs> M. You know, right. Medicare Part Eyeball. So investigate those and find out what. You, they might be worth it for you. you so know? so I think the message today is that, first of all, the, the Medicare enrollment program is opening up about the time that this is going to air, and it stays open for December 7th. And right. it's the only time, after you have initially signed up, it's the only time, other than if there was, let's say, a lifestyle change. Let's say you were continuing to work till you were 72. At the age of 72 in a January, you might be able to change because you're going off your employer's insurance or something like right. that. Uh, okay, right. so you might be able to change in mid-year. But generally speaking, it's only from, not to be confused with, uh, as I say, with Obamacare or some of the others that have like similar, like November 1st or January or something. This is December, uh, October 15th. Uh, to December seventh, you can check that right. and it, yourself. It's basically but the, but the time the time is now. So if you're gonna yeah. do something, and you know even with thirty forty bucks a month that you save, uh, yeah. uh, this is the time you can do it. So this year, unlike other years, like because I have a separate Humana uh, plan versus which which I'm actually happy with, uh, and uh, the pricing for my drugs and everything are 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 very acceptable to me, but I understand there's combined now that with my major Medicare supplier, they now have additional plans uh, that include sure. pharmacy and medical uh, vision and dental and yep. things like that. So there's all kinds of new stuff. So the message yeah. is, it's probably now a good time to look. It's an excellent time to do it. And uh, you should not put it off. And I think everybody over, when do you hit Medicare? 65, 66? Uh, when do you? 62, 65, whatever, begins, right, right. Whenever 65. Medicare begins, do it and uh, do it now and investigate it. You might not change plans. It's for, I don't know what part it is. Medicare Part B is the drug plan. Is that what it is? I don't know. Okay. Whatever it is, With. it's for Medicare drug insurance. And that's what we're talking about. Um, and the cost of drugs, it, it, f from my experience, the cost of drugs is different based on the insurance company yep. uh, and based on the drug, of course. Some drugs are just expensive no matter how you get them. So, and, of course, based on politically whether or not our paid for by the drug companies, uh, senators and representatives, would allow Medicaid to go out and, and negotiate independently. But that's a different vlog. That's a different, right. different conversation. So yeah. you got six weeks, approximately six weeks, uh, maybe eight weeks uh, for open enrollment for Medicare. Right. So uh, this might be a good year. This this might be a good year to do it. So anyway, uh, thank you, John. I'll be looking for that uh, reference to the people you use uh, yes, in my email. I'll send, you the, I'll send you that, yeah. Okay. But they're, they're advertising all over the place. You can see in the paper, television, radio. Uh, again, the advertisers are the that I'm talking about are the companies that will find you the best plan. They're independent not, of an insurance company. The, yeah, not the uh, insurance companies themselves. Great. Okay, yeah. so anyway, good luck. Uh, and uh, if somebody saves a whole lot of money, let us know and uh, give us our cut. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.